way that we've conceived this show, um, it is the best of the classic era. So it's, you know, 1930, the earliest car is 33. Uh, the, we have two 61s, so that's the window. And, uh, you know, the, I mean, modern cars have their own, you know, wonderful qualities, but, you know, these are really the, the, the custom designs and they're the best of the best. They're beautiful and they perform well as well. Um, none of these are lackluster, you know, I mean, these have won races, these have, you know, really broken speed records at, in, during their era. And so they're the best of the best, you know, they're, they're all right here. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> When you walk in and you see them, there's this gasp, you know, because so many of these are unlike any cars we've ever seen. I mean, some of them are, you know, these streamlined Art Deco, um, you know, just quintessential 1930s design. It just looks Art Deco the minute you see it, and that's how many of these are. They really document the time period, the aesthetics of the time period, um, and they are custom done, you know, which is, it's as if the patrons, you know, just as a work of art, would commission a portrait or commission a piece. Most of these automobiles, at least the pre-wars, were commissioned by Clark Gable and you know his wife Carol Lombard, and you know I mean it really, it, they, in our mind, they really are art. Some come from museums. We have the Porsche Museum, the Mercedes-Benz Museum, the Peterson Automotive Museum, but most of these belong to private collectors who have exquisite collections, upwards of you know 60, 70 cars of you know their particular. Uh, favorites, you know, some collect American cars, some collect, you know, particular, you know, their, their favorites. So it's amazing that we've picked, you know, kind of the gems of each of their collections and that they've parted with them for these three months. They all run. The only one that does not is because it doesn't have an engine in it. It's the replica. It's the Porsche replica of the Type 64, which is uh, the ancestor car of all Porsches. Many of these are one of one or one of three. The Piercero is one of three. Um, only five were made, only three exist. Uh, the Corvette Stingray is the only one. It's a prototype. And I don't think anybody doubts that once they see these here, that they shouldn't be here.